Adam Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog here at Kicks96Country.com. Our guest today all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, Elizabeth Lyons. Welcome to Kicks Country. Hi. Nice to meet you. All right. Now, <laughs> you began your country music career in Winnetka, Illinois. Is that correct? Yes. Right. Yes. Tell us, about, well, tell us about growing up in Winnetka. Um, yeah. it's. Uh, I went to a huge high school with like a thousand per grade. Uh, kind of crazy. Uh, I ended up um, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison for two years in my first summer my freshman year I moved down to Nashville and I was an intern and I interned at a music publishing company and uh, saw the music scene of Nashville and uh, began writing and uh, pursuing the artist track and I kind of realized that I may have a shot so mm -hmm. uh, I continued just working hard and uh, then I went back to University of Wisconsin-Madison and I was like you know what I have to be back in Nashville and so I uh, ended up transferring to Vanderbilt University and just graduated in May. And so now I'm doing music full time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the past, you know, four years I've been juggling interning music in school. So it's been fun. It's been a wild journey and um, work hard, play hard. <laughs> well, okay. Your musical roots, though, is like beginning, yes. beginning, beginning as a singing. Yeah. And a, and a, have you always played, uh, mm -hmm. sang? And I mean, like, at what age did that come yeah, from? Yeah, you know, music's, I've always been in love with music. I've always had a passion for music. Uh, I began singing in church choir, which turned into musicals. I've been in like 15 musicals. I'm like a total musical theater nerd. I know you were in, into theater too, yes. huh? Well, <clears throat> that's, a, that's a part of my life. We don't use a discussion um, Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone needs to know yeah. that. <laughs> okay, so well, musical theater, but, mm -hmm. I mean, musical performance, Broadway performance. Yes, uh, it's very musical. different. Very, very different. So different. And so when I was in Nashville, you know, the way you learn songs and everything was completely different. You know, there's the Nashville like charts and all of that and just the different ways of writing songs it's more about you know coming from the heart and everything mm -hmm. which I guess though in musical theater it's kind of similar everything you know when you're up on stage you have to find in the characters um, something that reminds yourself you of yourself and kind of create the character around that mm -hmm. so it is kind of similar though but as a um, songwriter yeah, surely you yeah. kind of draw from from that ability. I do I do and um you know, so I've kind of had a unique, different upbringing than most people. You know, I grew up playing classical piano for like 12, 14 years or something about that. Um, and so, yeah, I've kind of like just been very all over the place in that respect. And then when I went down to Nashville, I started songwriting and all of that. Mm -hmm. And so on my EP, it's um, all six songs I co-wrote. Okay. Well, let's talk about the EP I have it yeah. here, self-titled debut <laughs> EP, which uh, when like 24 hours after it was released, hit number 42 on iTunes. Yeah. Um, Crazy. So you, you, do you attribute that kind of success to your ability to connect with your audience, like where they are? Like on, obviously you have a strong internet presence, Facebook and Twitter like mm -hmm. that. So was that pretty much where you started? Kind of like, uh, I'm going to do this on YouTube <laughs> and Facebook and build my audience and then I'm going to release this? How did you, uh, how did you start? Yeah, well, it's interesting. Like as I, you know, my parents, when I was like, oh, I want, I want to be an artist. I've always kind of wanted to be an artist, but it was, it was kind of like, I didn't know if I could do it, you know? And so when I went down to Nashville, my parents were like, you need to learn the business side of things and kind of see if you have a shot or, you know, if worse comes worse, you can just be in the business side of things. But uh, really, I knew, I was like, I'm gonna do this. So I just really sat back and I observed and I watched what people did and what people, as an artist, what you should or shouldn't do. And I continue to do that and just took note of uh, what was going on, what I needed to do, who I needed to talk to. Um, all that t t different types of stuff, whether it be what people are doing on social media or the presence of videos and the importance of that, which you guys are clearly mm -hmm. uh, aware of, um, you know, which is why I ended up being a film major. And so different, just different types of things that I've pulled from. Well, that was going to yeah. be my next question. It's like, you know, we've had a lot of folks come through here, mm -hmm. uh, new artists, independent artists, who have attended Belmont University, of course, the yes. Belmont <laughs> University. Uh, but you are a graduate of Vanderbilt in yeah. the film department. So um, your primary goal when moving to Nashville was to pursue music, yes. but you got your degree in film. Yes. So that decision, really, where did that decision come from? Uh, that decision, I, you know, the first summer I was in Nashville, I lived with like a bunch of Vanderbilt girls. So kind of, it was nice because I had the best of both worlds. And in high school, I had my musical theater friends and I had my other friends too. And so I always kind of have had the best of both worlds. I'm pretty sure I wrote a college essay about that, like my <laughs> <laughs> senior year of high school. And so um, I kind of felt that presence at Vanderbilt and um, 
I liked that I'd have those two worlds and I knew a lot of friends and people at Belmont um, but I kind of I've also always approached things differently I try to be unique and um, you know Vanderbilt is an amazing institution and uh, I loved like the conversations I was having with the Vanderbilt people I was living with and going out you know with when I was living down in Nashville so I just kind of went for it and um, yeah I'm so happy I did you know and it was it's nice because I think it helps you know with my success of charting because a lot of people are from all over you know the world and the United States and um, I still have my Belmont friends too you know uh, but it's just kind of grown the demographic and Greek life has been huge too there and like the athletes and stuff and literally like when the day of a release like the 42 charting I go and I just ask people and I just message people and I'm like hey like I go through my phone book and I'm like hey and I'll just message them and be like hey like check it out mm -hmm. I just released six songs or I just released my music video or my single like check it out it's on iTunes mm -hmm. you know if you like it you like it if you don't okay <laughs> you know all right well let's so. talk about the single uh, the very first uh, track off of the EP is the first track on the EP it's called everything tonight and you wrote this yes all right so tell us about that song what is the single about okay um, well I wrote it with my producer Matt Nolan and Ryan Tindall who wrote Eric Church's Springsteen and Derek Bentley's Bourbon in Kentucky mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's a really magical song. I think it's about, you know, you may have been hurt from a previous relationship, but, um, and, you know, you're maybe entering into something new and you're kind of hesitant to get into it again because you were hurt before. And so, but you kind of have to realize, like, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. And um, that in every relationship, you bring, you bring something to the table and someone else brings something else and everyone's different and I found usually opposites attract type of thing so I'm the rhythm and you are the rhyme is that type of deal um, and then you know it's about kind of taking a risk and taking a leap of faith and here goes nothing and everything tonight mm -hmm. and then so. you've got another video you've actually yes. had the video it's, it's on iTunes as well it is. And it was directed by Mason Dixon. It is. Okay. So tell us about what that was like working with Mason. Well, it was funny because I, like my film nerd self, I uh, love Jake Owen's video, music videos. And so I went online and I just Googled, like, you know, who the director was. And um, I found Mason Dixon's name. And then I looked for his email and just emailed him. And I was like, hey, like, I'm a Vanderbilt student. I'm unsigned. Like, uh, here's my song. I just, you know... We just recorded, uh, let me know if you're interested, this is what I can afford, which is just like nothing of what he usually is paid. Mm -hmm. And uh, he ended up meeting with me and we got along really well. And so then he, we did the video and he agreed to do it. And um, it was really fun. It was a fun day. We shot it in one day. And um, the ending's my favorite part. I push the guy into the water, <laughs> jump in, and he pulls me in. <laughs> you guys will have to watch it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, and it was so cool that uh, it charted eight on country um, music video charts and then 18 on all genre and I was completely blown away mm -hmm. um, and we were traveling that day like I think to Minnesota or something so it was it, it was crazy but you know I'm so lucky that um, kind of my roots have helped make that happen like you know Nutri my high school in Wisconsin and Vanderbilt and so um, everyone's always been there for me so mm -hmm. well <laughs> Hopefully we can get to a few of our listeners and yes, you now. Yes, yes. Uh, I love new friends. I love learning Where about can people. they find you? I am, My website is www.elizabethlinesmusic.com. And my last name's like the animal, but with a Y instead of an I. <laughs> okay. How about Facebook and Twitter? So, um, Facebook is Elizabeth Lines Music. And Twitter and Instagram are E Lines mu uh, Music. Yeah. And then YouTube is just Elizabeth Lyons 1. Okay. All right. Well, yes. for the folks who are just seeing this for the first time, of course, it's July 20th, uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything uh, in tour-wise coming up with you? Are, are you hitting the road? I mean, I know you're on your radio tour yeah. now, but what about uh, performances? Uh, well, right now I'm booking for the fall. Um, I've booked, like, uh, August 24th at Joe's Bar in Chicago, my hometown. And I'm some things are in the works right now. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of the first one, you know, at the end of the summer, I guess. Okay. Um, so, yeah, but I would love to come up here if you guys have anything. Let me know. Absolutely. Available. 
You're Message welcome. me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Lyons, welcome to Kicks Country. Thank you so much. Thank right. you for having if me. If you want to hear everything tonight, be sure to call us at Kicks 96. We'll be happy to play it for you. Look for her live performances elsewhere here on our website, and hopefully we'll get a chance to visit with you again soon, okay? I hope so. <laughs> all right. Elizabeth Thank Lyons, you. all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Look for her EP on iTunes, the single Everything Tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you again next time on another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Thank you.